hi, sorry. Uh, yes, I was, uh, I hit the wrong screen. I don't have, I'll have it up over here because I only have chat up right here. So we'll get that in there. Now, nah, hey, is it better? I'm back. So anyway, welcome everybody. And uh, it's so good to have everybody here um, and go from there. So you guys understand also, we're going to be announcing the winner for this PC uh, that's sitting back here. We'll announce that winner uh, on Friday. And don't forget Friday, we're going to be giving away uh, another PC. So the NVIDIA RTX 4060 Ti winner never claimed the PC. So Friday during after Diablo and after the PC build, we will actually give away another PC. So two PC and winner announces happening on Friday. It'll just be happening right here on the stream. So you're gonna make sure you wanna tune in for Friday for that. So should be, should be a lot of fun. It should be cool. Also have a brand new water bottle. It's called the Iron. It's 64 ounces. So I may have to urinate during the stream, but I won't do it on stream. I will make sure I do that off stream. Not that you were worried, but let's talk about what we're putting inside of this and then go from there. Okay, um, by the way, can we, get, can we get some hype in the chat? You guys said, by the way, the answer to that question was Blondie that no, Roby did not die. Roby did survive. I did not get killed in hardcore. Unlike Bmock and Zeistan, who both, I am now further in level than they are. So I'm just throwing down the gauntlet for those guys. Um, but I'm just saying, we, uh, I, I survived. I cleared a dungeon. We did a couple hard quests. It was, I'm just, I wanna, I wanna throw it out there that that was good. So uh, I just wanna, I just wanna make sure that that's really clear. And that Bmock and Zeistan must call me gaming god from now on, because that's, I, I feel like that's only fair. Um, and we should go from there. I think, I think that's going to, speaking of that, let's see if they're, uh, let's see if they're over in Discord right now. We'll get them, uh, we'll get them into chat. There is gonna be always, guys, some freaking reverb. Sorry about that. It just is the world that we live in here. There is no text in chat right now, but we'll go to here and if they join us, they join us. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. That is, that's a reach. That's not fair. You guys saw it, right? Hey, can I get a raise of hands of me proving that I was, I was pretty good at this, right? Like that was, I'm, you know, I should not get cocky. Never mind. Don't raise my hand. Let's not say that because we want to, I want to be humble because that's how people get killed in hardcore. So we're, never mind. It's not true. I'm terrible at games and this is not going to happen. Well, thanks DJ. Now everybody wants to get me killed. Even Lord Pansington is raising hands. Okay. So let's talk about what we're putting inside of this. You might be surprised, surprise, surprise. Roby's like, what? What do you mean you're gonna put a 13900 inside of this little tiny case? Yes, we are. And actually the, the temperatures inside of this thing uh, are actually pretty impressive. We've already done our, our review on it. I'm sorry that it took us like two weeks to get to this build, um, but unfortunately we had talent. Uh, we, we went, yes, this PC can run Premiere Pro, definitely. Um, we uh, we uh, already did our testing for it. Uh, very impressed with the temperatures. You guys are gonna see them live, obviously here. The, there's an OS on it and all that stuff already. Uh, but it has, this actually, can hold a 360 millimeter AIO. And then now with the latest updates that people can basically put this down to stock, which means it's only pulling 250 watts. It's pretty incredible, but you can actually cool when you, uh, when you treat it with respect like you should. Uh, it's not to say this thing still isn't hotter than the sun, but for the most part now, thanks to the, uh, the folks at Intel, uh, now a lot of board makers and manufacturers are uh, bringing the temps down, which is good. Um, let's see what else we got here. Uh, we're gonna be sticking with Asus. So we're gonna be using the ROG Strix Z790i gaming Wi-Fi. It's a mini ITX motherboard. Obviously we have a small form factor case. Uh, so it is liquid cooled, which is a great question. We're gonna be doing the IQ, Core, the IQ H150i Elite Capellix. I actually think based on this build, we could potentially do a soft tube, soft tube loop inside of this. I, I, was, I was looking at it and just thinking, it might be a challenge we do for a later date, but you could potentially soft tube a custom loop into this as well. But for now, we're just gonna be using the IQ H150i Elite Capellix, um, which, you know what? If I was smart, I would have brought, you know what? Well, you can't see it, but I need to make sure, uh, basically Riddick made some custom Robitech plates for this and I should be able to use those. So and there's uh, Squatch Gamer, am I gonna add RGB? Am I gonna add RGB? Are you kidding? Absolutely. freaking lutely We're gonna do, can't, am I gonna add RGB? We got three more RGB fans that we're gonna be adding to this to make sure there's plenty of RGB because this thing needs to look good. Even though it's just a, a giant rectangular coffin thing. Igor, you're so kind. Uh, it's so funny now that I know what these people look like and like I can see Igor clicking the button um, as he's getting ready to go run off to work tonight. Unless he's just gonna play hardcore with me. Um, but anyway, we got, uh, we'll, uh, we, uh, 
Uh, it looks like a coffin, but you can still get some great, uh, you can still get some great RGB lighting and stuff out of this uh, as well. Now for power supply, uh, because it's a 4070 Ti, we don't need a ton. So we're gonna be using a V850 SFX. 850 watt from a Cooler Master, which would be more than enough power for this. And then lastly, we got Corsair Vengeance RGB DDR5 RAM. So again, sticking to Corsair. I have a feeling, uh, you know, you can buy these systems pre-built from Origin. So again, we wanted to kind of give them a little bit of love here. So if you wanted to pick one of these up and didn't want to build in this case, because surprise, surprise, SFF cases, not, not the most, uh, not the easiest ones to build in. Uh, Mike is clipping a bit. Dang it, I don't even know what to do about it. I mean, like it's already, I'll turn it down a little bit more. Turn it down to 15. Okay, it's at 15 now. Okay, okay, so it's at 15 now. <clears throat> so anyway, uh, yes, I don't remember what I was gonna say, but it's not important. And then lastly, we got the Gigabyte. This is a brand new, huge shout out to Gigabyte for sending this. They're white, Gigabyte Aero RTX 4070 Ti. Um, interesting, interesting card. Uh, I know a lot of people, I mean, in terms of the 4070s, obviously the more popular of the two cards, but again, uh, very, very thank you to Gigabyte for hooking us up with one of these. Should be a great card. Obviously, we're all a little bit, you know, upset about the overall pricing, but you know what I'm thinking, guys? I'm thinking AI. I'm thinking AI. You guys stand by, like, it'd be interesting. I think in the next, and it's funny, I've even been talking to some game journalists about this. I'm telling you, there might be some stuff where you need an NVIDIA RTX card to unlock AI capabilities within games. So just mark my, mark today, what is today? 6-7-2023, Roby called that there's gonna be exclusive AI features that only work with NVIDIA RTX cards and that that may be why the prices are staying where they are. Just just mark my words, that might be that might be true. Hey, what's up, Jez? I was talking to Jez about it. In fact, I talked to Jez, and not just Jez, but a number of other people, um, and uh, you should go in there. Your YouTube link takes you to the Falcon Northwest build video. Oh, that's not good. Uh, but anyway, Jez, I was talking to Jez about this, and so I'm telling you it's gonna happen. If I'm correct, I think there are a triple slot 4090 that can fit in an SFS case, the FE and the AI radiator integrate Acer from prior and MSI fusion chills. There are, there is, the, the, we're actually gonna be doing a 4090 uh, 7800X3D build on Friday that's in an SFF build, and that's in the Fractal, uh, the Fractal Terra. And the other thing too, and hey, there's Falcon. By the way, Falcon, we just, I don't know if you got it, but we were just talking about how quiet your system is. We were showing off playing Diablo, and though the rest of this room is hot as heck, that thing, you could not hear it on stream. It was absolutely quiet. So um, yeah, so we showed that over on Twitch a little bit earlier. And we'll probably end up showing up again a little bit later as well. But guys, if you haven't checked out the Falcon Northwest Tiki, I took it to Dallas. I basically had it here in the studio and I absolutely love it. It's, and honestly, if you want a powerhouse, small form factor gaming PC that is quiet as heck, but also, I mean, BMOC, so if you, if you have questions, ask BMOC Zeistin and Igor how impressive that thing is because like they were like, it was funny because uh, BMOC actually had his ear up against it and he was like, that's not the, the Falcon. The Falcon, even we were running Cinebench and we were running 3D Mark, you could not hear it, but you could hear the loudest heck freaking switch that was sitting behind it. So is it portable? Yeah, the, the Tiki is portable. It's the size of an Xbox, guys. I, I showed it off here. Here it is right here. I know I'm getting a little distracted, but uh, it's an SFF build, so. Here it is right here. So again, this is another small form factor. This is a 13900 with a 4080. You guys have seen the temps, we showed them off before. Quiet as heck, portable, um, also built like a tank. Um, so if you wanna check that out. We also have a whole live stream on it, and then we have a review that's currently in progress coming out here very soon, so. Um, yeah, it's not, it's not just a smart looking rig. It also makes you more attracted to, people of the, uh, to the people you wanna be attracted to. Just wanna let you know. I don't know if people know this, but if you buy a Falcon Northwest system, your crush will be more attracted to you. You just have to carry it on you. It's actually how I got my wife. Even I traveled back from the past and wore the Falcon Northwest system like a peacock does and, and strutted around and Brenda melted. Like it was just like, so I'm just letting you know, if you're having dating issues, pick yourself up a Falcon Northwest system and then you might actually be able to, uh, you might actually be able to, uh, to bag that, uh, bag that significant other you've been keeping your eye on. Right, Falcon? And it's guaranteed. Just wait for them to, to verify that in chat. Guaranteed to bag you the significant other you've always wanted. 
Um, okay, can it uh, Squatch Gamer? Which which one do you want to run uh, Rocket League? <laughs> yeah, that is Zeiston was wanting to steal it. That is true. And then lastly, we just got a Gen 5 uh, uh, basically sleeve extension, and that is all the parts going inside. All of this going inside of this. It's like I'm like I'm like a I'm like a salmon. Uh, 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 uh. Is it, does it sound like it's like it's like a there we go um, and then again if you want if you really wanted to you could actually basically put the same card that we have inside the tiki because they've officially announced it uh, you could if you can get a hold of one of those pro art 4080s you could pop that in here too but unfortunately we don't have that and we're going to be using this gigabyte arrow 4070 ti which i'm still very happy about um, I'm trying to see if anything else it has a bonnet off. Oh my God, look at their hair. I'll be watching the build tonight while I raid. We have a wow rating tonight. Oh, what are you raiding with Figment? Yeah, it's nice. It looks good, Araxinus. I think it's gonna be good. Okay, so let's go ahead and start getting this build built. And then uh, we'll see if we can, we can do you guys some justice. You guys, uh, it's been a little while since Roby's built anything. So we'll have to see if, uh, how capable I am. I do know that this build is not easy. It is a bit of a challenge. There's definitely a order of operation, so if you are joining me and watching this on a VOD or you're gonna watch the edited video that's coming out later, um, you're definitely gonna wanna stay tuned because we're gonna show you the order of operations if you're wanting to do this exact same build, how you essentially wanna do this, um, so you can be successful and not frustrated like we were when we did this uh, earlier. So, <clears throat> um, okay, we got that in there. Let's grab our, our, we don't, actually it's funny because like the one thing I love about SFF cases is that you can just put them wherever because they're just so small. It's like, oh, I'll just set it over here and finish and build. Okay. Oh, that's what I'm looking for. Our, oh, our, we have a Fire Cuda 530. That's our drive. I forgot Kevin put it off to the side. So we have a two terabyte Fire Cuda 530 that we're using for the drive for this. So. <sighs> yeah, this case, I mean, I'm, I'm actually really excited about it. I'm, I'm sorry that it took us so long to actually uh, start doing a build in it. I know that was what, I'll put this up right here. To start doing a build in it. So um, yeah, it, it was just, it was just yeah, a little bit painful, but uh, in terms of getting it done and all that sort of stuff, we had, a, we had a shipping issue, but we're here now. We've got the build, we've got all the parts. Need my remote and then we'll start building. <sighs> oh, maybe it's a 500 gig. Well then it's whatever, whatever he says it is. That, to go off of what he sent. Hey, or Chaos, thank you for the sub. Appreciate it, my man. So go over whatever he said, Tom. All right, here we go. Let's get started. I'm gonna start this build here. So here's our little small, tiny drive. Uh, infiltrator, I, that's a really loaded question. I would say probably not. Um, yeah. But yeah. Yeah, Bearcat, I think he just put it in here. I mean, I could, I think I've got a second. Do I have a second M.2 slot on here? I can put, yeah, I could put a second one here if I really wanted to, but for the sake of this build, because it's a teardown build, we don't need to, but yeah. Okay, there we go. There's our very, 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 very tiny. Uh, <laughs> I love how small these things are. It's just like, it's almost like under, it's almost like crazy when you think about it, when you use these small form factor builds, you're like, yeah, I'm gonna cram all the parts into this very tiny, into this very tiny, uh, tiny board, you know what I mean? Uh, what's a teardown build? It's a build that we basically build and then we, when we're finished with it, we take it back apart and put it back in the boxes because we're not gonna keep it together. So it's not a, it's not a build we're gonna keep put together. Guys, we're gonna go out of order. Are you guys ready? You guys, we're gonna go, go out. Of, we're gonna put the M.2 in first because we're just gonna blow your minds. We wanna make sure that you aren't ready for what's going to happen. You're like, you're, we're gonna keep you guessing. We might put the AIO on before we basically, uh, we might put the AIO on before we even put the, uh, put, before we put the CPU in. What do you think of that? What do you think of that crazy? So, um, uh, should we, yeah, we should probably do the, uh, we should probably start the VRM the VRM guess right now. Okay, and then right here. Are we in top down, guys? 
Yes, okay. Just making sure. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a little rusty here, guys. I'm learning how rusty I am. Ooh, this has been squished. Peel this. From when we were doing it before. Okay, wow, this is like embedded in here. It's like thermal pad is like, what did you do to me? Give me back my dignity. Okay, there we go. Okay, part one, part two, here we go. Why does it seem like it goes, maybe it's this way. Okay, cool. Okay, there we go, and we'll take this one off. What's up, vibes? Guys, you have two minutes on whether the VRM will clear the socket. I feel like this goes this way, right? All right, that looks right. Okay, cool, it does fit. This feels like it has a peel on it. Oh, it does, it has a peel on it. Does it have a peel? It feels like it has a peel on it. Oh, it does, okay, got a peel. Almost didn't see that, but got the peel off. Ooh, that's shiny. Look how shiny that is, guys. Ooh, it's got a screen. There's a screen on that. Look at the screen. Oh, maybe it's not a screen. It looks like it has a screen. What is this thing? Oh, it's got a DAC. Crazy. This actually comes with a DAC. This motherboard's like bonkers. Okay. Where's my, there it is. It is, Bearcat, it always is. That's the thing with the, when you do mini ITX builds, people are like, that's, it's so cute. You know what I mean? When you think about, like, when you look at the overall size, this is a mini ITX, and if we zoom out, that's a mini ITX versus an ATX uh, motherboard. So it's it's quite a bit smaller when you uh, when you really kind of think about it. Okay, let's, uh, how are, is our is our thing done? It's a prediction, it looks like the prediction's done. Let's uh, open up our CPU and uh, get this done. Okay. Yeah, I'm good to go. I didn't know, yeah, I've never, I, I, uh, I have yet to do a motherboard that doesn't have the onboard audio, so this is the first time. But I know that as, like, especially as um, more and more features are being crammed in, it's not surprising to see that stuff like this is happening, Org. Okay, next up, guys, let's open this bad boy up. get this on and will the VRM clear I know most of you probably said no but every once in a while it pays off 13900k installed oop I shouldn't have I can put it in here what's gonna happen that's the question now if you go slow ooh, no that's not even close it wasn't even close guys that thing wasn't even near. That's a big negatory, like not even close negatory in terms of the uh, VRM on that one. That was like disappointingly, disappointingly bad. Okay, let's do RAM clicks. I don't have any text in chat today, so we'll uh, we'll all do the guess. Let's say, let's go 95. Let's do 95. Yeah, the older ones do. It's like I said, uh, all of a sudden when you have Gen 5 and all the other features, that's what goes in there. What's up, Joshua? How are you, man? Good to see you. Let's go 95 here. What, is he talking? I might have it too low, hold on. Oop, that's the wrong button. Where's my volume? It's going okay. Zeisten, are you there? Hello? Oh, I can't hear him. Okay, let's see what's going on. Gosh darn it. I'm really worried that this is gonna go freaking whack. Hold on. Oh. 
input output we want it to go to voice chat okay try talking again can you hear me now? I can but you're very very quiet try it again uh, can you hear me now I can adjust my audio a little bit does it DJ does it sound that way right now yeah, it's very low. I don't know if it's... Very, very low. Oh, that's better. I can hear you a little bit better. Yeah, I am adjusting system settings. Oh yeah, he's adjusting settings, guys. Prediction ram click sound dampening foam add-ons will be new RGB. No. There's okay, a feedback loop on it as well. Guy Doer, what are you talking about? Super verby. Dang it, I, guys, we gotta figure something out to make this work. Cause it's not, it's not, it's definitely not coming through my mic. So you guys hear a lot of, it shouldn't be Diablo. Is, is it still showing Diablo for the game? Uh, yes it is. Okay, I'll fix that, hold on. I changed it, hold on. There you go. Okay, done, fixed. Okay, is it still super reverby, guys? Go ahead and talk again, Zeistin. See, go ahead and just keep talking for a minute. I connected out all of my settings, so that's about the best that we're gonna get from me. You can try and crank my volume if you need to. Uh, on no, I'm room, not routing him through a virtual it. cable, guys. It's just, I. This is, this is a so freaking annoying. I don't know what, to, I definitely don't know what to do about this. It's just, I, I, guys, I can't, like, I can't, this, it like hurts the stream. Let's go back to your build, Justin. Yeah, we'll just have to try it another time, guys, sorry. I have to figure out why this is doing this. Because I want to have them, but yeah. Sorry guys, I just can't, I can't do that. It doesn't sound right. We'll have to figure it out. It's, it's like, it's just gonna tick me off. All right, let's go ahead and put this in here. What did we say for that? We said 95. Is that prediction already in? Okay, here we go, 95. I gotta figure that out. It's so, I don't understand why, it's just it's just routed the way that it is and it's annoying. All right, here we go. No, that was 89.3, guys. Here we go. 94.1, neither one of them Neither one of them go, not, neither one of them went in there and oh, why don't you ever bring Gigabyte products? Moham Hyder, I'm literally doing a Gigabyte Arrow today. Yeah, Guy Doer, it's just like, I, I, we gotta find some way to get it in there. I don't know, it's just like, the thing is, is like, no matter what I do, it sounds super reverby on the uh, on the stream. And all I'm doing is just, all I have is Discord, pointed to a certain place in the in the um, Elgato app, in the Elgato Wavelink app, and it should just be voice chat, but for some reason, when you put it through voice chat, it just, it makes it reverby, and it doesn't make any sense. So. Yeah, I, I don't know if there's another way that we can do it. Um, maybe it's like Teams or something like that. So, all right, well, we got that in. It's just annoying, because I want it to work. Uh, we just did a budget build. We just did a $1,000 budget build just a couple weeks ago. So we, all, we, we do budget builds too, but yes, we, we just did one. I don't know if it's a compression thing or if it's something else that's basically happening, but we gotta find something because the reverb is killing me. And I, I wanna be able to have people on the chat, like in the chat, um, because, you know, people find it more entertaining. No, oh, dang. And it's going in there.
I know other people know how to do it, but it's just for some reason on my system, on my system it just fails. It's annoying. <clears throat> These are all things I don't need. I don't need TR4 retention I don't need. We definitely need to we definitely need to do some water cooled builds guys. It's on the list for sure. Um, it's just right now we have we have enough new cases and the thing is is that you can just get an idea with Computex having just happened how much harder that's going to We have to get through the new cases and then we'll uh, we'll do probably around like into summertime we'll get into some uh, we'll get into some uh, other builds. Uh, Muhammad Hader, I actually have a 4000 series uh, Oris in my main, one of my main gaming systems, so I don't have an issue with them. Oris is just kind of in a weird spot right now. It feels like they, like monetarily, they're not really spending the money that Asus and some of the other companies are. So, um, and the other too is like sometimes their mobos. It, I have had issues in the past with their mobos. Um, in terms of like lands not working, things like that. So it's just kind of an interesting spot right now with them. A 2060 should be fine. If you're, it depends, your limitations doesn't have anything to do with basically your streaming capabilities because you can just use the Invec encoder, which you have on your 2060, which is gonna be good. The question is, is you're gonna be limited more by the games you're gonna play. There won't be any stream limitations because of the 2060. 2060's got that codec. There are AIO GPU coolers. Um, there aren't, the only add-on that used to exist, used to exist by NZXT, you could buy an AIO add-on. Um, most of them have just gone to, like you can buy the liquid version of their card. Asus sells their AIO liquid version of it. MSI does. So there's a lot of people who do. When motherboards work, they actually work good though. A lot of YouTube reviewers use Oris in test beds. So Araxis, I have a I have a stack over here of like four that all of them have a lot, their land ports have gone under. They've just their land, just their lands just stop working. And I need to RMA them. That's the, I haven't any issue with the board. It's their other, it's the ancillary stuff. Honestly, the ones that I've had the least amount of issues with are MSI. I mean, I keep trying them, right? Like I have no problem. Like we put them in builds all the time. Um, and some, and like you said, when they work, they work. It's just the problem is, is that I just seem to have a higher number of issues when they don't work. Uh, I haven't seen them yet, Bearcat. Were they, would they show them at Computex? I mean, but that's a great example, right? Like at Computex, look at the size of Asus and MSI and, you know, uh, the size of their boost versus the Aorus one. Yeah, guys, also don't forget, we do have the community challenge up for grabs up, up in discord.gg slash robytech. We have the community travel photo thing going on right now. Uh, there's uh, three $25 gift cards. All you got to do is post a photo. Head over to discord.gg slash robytech. Great place. We got a lot of these challenges, so we're really trying to make the community feel more alive over on Discord. So pop on over. You might win something. There's always really great people there. Um, so it's a good place to just kind of hang out if you have questions about PCs and all that sort of stuff. So, uh, you know, a really, really cool, uh, really, really cool community place. You know, we have like 10,000 plus people, but definitely worth checking out for sure. Uh, and you might win some stuff too, because she's blonde. has got a whole bunch of competitions and stuff planned for the summer. All right, let's go ahead and strip this down now. So pretty straightforward. It's mostly toolless. So we're gonna go ahead and take off all the panels here. Get this down to the bare essentials. Just like that. Getting it all the way down. And then we'll pull the front one down here. Just pops off just like that. Yeah. 
Then we got, you do not need to take this part off. You can just take the top off, no problem. And then down at the bottom, if you want to, take this, there's our little power cable. And then down here at the bottom, this is for all your cables and stuff like that. You just take this off. Just I like to remove it just before. So it's really easy to just kind of get to. And then again, just like that, your case is now 100% stripped and ready to go. So there is your, there's your, and it's, it's not that it's heavy, but it's, you know, it's pretty light in general. I'm a little bit surprised that they went with a black SSD tray. I know they have white SSDs because they have them in their white 5000Ds. Um, the other thing too that you can remove, we're gonna remove it right now. And then just kind of keep it here is this, the actual radiator tray. But just so you know, the last thing we will be installing when the whole build is the radiator. So. Uh, Squatch Gamer, uh, I recommend liquid cooled or AIOs. Uh, they just have a tendency to be quieter. Um, the other thing too is that you have, you can do more with it as you learn about the PC. Uh, air cooling, it, it, the only way where air cooling is if you are wanting to stay on a budget level and you're not gonna spend a ton of money on the actual build, uh, or like you're, you're looking to save money uh, and you're gonna do like a entry level budget build, that's where air cooling actually ends up saving you a ton. Um, and uh, it, both in just maintenance costs and everything else as well. Yeah, I know Zeiston. This would have been a good. This would have been a good option for you. I mean, any one of the ones that we're going to build this week, whether it's the five, the two thousand D, or the uh, or the um, the fractal Terra that we're going to do on Friday. The Terra is a much simpler build. This is actually a complicated build just because we're doing an AIO. And again, because you can do a three hundred sixty millimeter AIO in this, you you got a lot of power. Would there be any bond like with a 4070 and 11900K? I'm thinking of putting this in my build. Uh, 4070 and 11900 would be fine. At 1440p. I mean, there's always like some chance of things, but it's nothing, it's nothing to be too concerned about. Okay, so. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put in our motherboard. There we go, there we go. Okay, so there's our tiny motherboard inside of our tiny case. Yeah, Zeisten or like, yeah, it'd be good to do like maybe, I know the problem is, is that having a sec, doing a whole second build is always rough. Guys, don't forget to go hit that like, don't forget to go like the YouTube video. Remember, 250 likes and we get a, uh, we give away a uh, $25 new gift card. And do we, we do have a PC giveaway, sorry. Should make sure you guys know this. We are giving away another PC as a sub only giveaway for the month of, for the month of, of, uh, what month is it? For the month of June, sorry. We are gonna be doing another PC giveaway for the month of June. More than likely it'll be a 4070, either a 13th gen or a 7700 build. Um, so uh, it'll be a night, it'll be a mid range, great build uh, around the $2,000 mark. Uh, if you wanna get in on that, all you gotta use is your free Amazon Prime sub. Uh, if you're over at uh, Kick, all you gotta do is subscribe. Uh, you'll be entered to win uh, that PC. If you want to get extra entries, you can gift subs. That's one way to get extra entries. And then, of course, if you subscribe at Tier 2 or Tier 3, that also gets you additional entries. Lastly, if you subscribe to both Discord, uh, to all three, Discord, Kick, and to Twitch, uh, your subs basically count three times. So uh, one of the things just worth knowing is, you know, always the benefit is we always try to give away a PC a month to subscribers only. So it's a great opportunity and a great benefit to you if you join us, uh, if you join us for that. So anyway, just want to make sure everybody, I, I don't always point that out, but if you are a subscriber, you're entered to win. A, uh, you're automatically entered to win a PC. So if you don't have one, maybe spend, you know, two, three bucks and roll the dice. Hey, John Washburn, thank you very much, man.
There's Org dropping dropping knowledge in YouTube. Yeah, we have the 5600X community challenge as well. So if you do the points, then you can automatically win. I mean, we're gonna be giving away a 5600X. I think we're like a third of the way there right now, Blondie, right? Oops, that's being, that's being a pain. But we're already at 81 of 250 likes. There's 250 people here. Oh, so we're 54%, okay. Okay, build is coming together. Okay, so there is that. Now, cable management for these is always interesting. Now, there is no audio connection. There's no uh, HD audio port for this. So we're gonna run our front panels and all that sort of stuff on it. Oh, that's right, there's a little board. We gotta add, do the add-in board on the MOBO, on the MOBO. Hey, Veta Kim, thank you very much for the sub, dude. Okay, there's our USB and our front panel connectors right there. So this makes it really easy because you can just basically, they're nice and close. So the reset switch. We'll do a power switch. Adding that in there. Okay, cool, there we go. Then we'll do power plus and minus. There you go. And then power plus. Okay, there's that. And this goes right here. Probably goes this way. Okay, so that takes care of that. Now the only thing we got left is USB 3.2. This goes right here. Get it in! Gotta be straight, there we go. And then USB-C. And then we have HD audio, but that doesn't really matter. Okay, and then what we're gonna do, I think we got our routing. Yeah, our cable, our tie downs are right here. So we're gonna do our tie downs along the edge here. Yes, Squatch Gamer will absolutely test this when we're done. Okay, you guys, I'm trying to give you a good view of what you can see here. Oh, I just realized you guys can't see anything I'm doing because I had it on the wrong, the wrong connection here. All right, so what we're gonna do right now is we're actually working on getting this, let me get the side camera down to where it is. Okay, Blondie, we'll worry about that later. If you wanna turn it off and turn it back on again on Streamlabs, it's the only thing I can do. Okay, let's go, we're going to side view here. Hey, FanWam, thank you for the sub. Yeah, that's just builds, dude. Especially, especially builds like this. All right, here we go. So we're just gonna get this stuff kind of off and out of the way right now. And 
There we go. One more. One more time. We're gonna... Oh, there's no more. That's the only tie down. Wow. They said, you get one tie down, Roby, and that's it right there. One more time. Gonna celebrate. Okay, there's that. Trying to trying to trying to cable manage this like the like the folks at Falcon Northwest do. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's get our zip tie counter going. There we go. Okay, so we got that nice and cleaned up now. Not a whole lot to. Yeah, that org is very, very true. Yes, you do not save money when you go to Mini ITX. That is not a thing. Many times it ends up being the opposite. For sure, you end up caught sp spending more money. Thanks, Falcon. Uh, yes, uh, Brent Car Queen. Yes, you could fit a uh, Asus ProArt RTX. Oh, 4090. No, there is no third-party 4090 that will fit in this case. Uh, and I don't. And a Founders Edition 4090 won't fit in this case either. It's a two-slot. So, Brent, that's the only one. The only 4090. That the only 40. The only the highest 4000 series card you could put inside of this would be a 4080. All right, okay, that is done and out of the way. Now, guys, I know it's weird, but we're actually gonna do the GPU next. Dang it, I meant to go to side camera, guys. The problem is I can't see this, oh, okay. I'm trying a little bit different stuff, and so uh, I have a different, let me bring the, I'm gonna do it this way, hold on. I, I'm, I keep missing camera cues, guys. So I'm gonna fix this. Because you guys, I'm not able to see All right, cool. Now I can see it. Sorry, guys, I keep missing camera cues. So I, I've got it fixed so I can see it on screen again. Okay, top down. Let's get our GPU in. Well, I guess this does fit a three slot card. I wonder if a 4090 would fit. I don't know. Maybe a 4090 would fit in this. Yeah, I can try. I don't think a four, I, I, I don't think, I don't think it would fit. It does exactly three slots. Okay, I'm gonna try and fix the, I don't think I'm gonna be able to fix it, Blondie. It's not a whole lot different than what you just did. Okay, I tried to turn it back on. Let's see if that works. Um, yeah, I don't think I have. Let me just try. I'm gonna see because it's three. It's three slot. We'll we'll give it. I don't have the Founders Edition 4090 is actually in the tear right now. Oops, that was good for the mic pack. Um, but I have a 4080, which is pretty close to the same size as a Founders Edition. So. I think the 4090 actually might be bigger than this. Yeah, this is exactly, 
Maybe a Founders Edition would fit in this. No, Founders Edition does fit in this. Oh, uh. Yeah, he could fit a Founders Edition 4080. I don't know if a 4090 would fit. Well, this is not easy to get to, guys. Okay, so Founders Edition 4080 would fit for sure, because they got it basically all the way in. So I don't, I don't know, can somebody confirm? Uh, can somebody confirm that a 4090, how much bigger a 4090 is than a 4080 Founders Edition? Are they the same size? I think they're the same size. So if this one fits, then a 4090 would fit. It's the same, okay, that's what I thought. So yeah, you could fit a Founders Edition 4090. Yeah, wow, I did not know that. I thought you only could do a two slot card, but you can do a, you could actually do a 4090 in this. Wow, that's pretty impressive, actually. Okay, well, we're gonna put a white 4070 Ti in it. I mean, this has a lot of length. I think any three slot card would work. All right, hold on, let's just, hold on. I have, it says, it says three slot, so. I mean, it's really long. I mean, you have a lot of length. Let's just try. Yeah, that's, yeah, for sure. I'm just gonna see, right? Because you definitely have to think about power plug clearance. But I just wanna see what this would do. I don't think the Zotac would fit, but this card has a tendency to be kind of on the thinner side of 4090s, so. No, no, that's not, I don't think that's gonna work. No, this is, I can already tell. This this is too thick. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe not. Okay. Oh, yeah, I could be wrong. No, 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 it's not gonna fit. It doesn't, it won't clear. It's close. That's bigger than three slots though. Yeah, you could water block and it would fit for sure, but. Well, you could do a 4090 in this case, or I mean, the one thing you could do very easily in this case is a 79, uh, 7900 XTX, sorry. Yeah, uh, yeah, 7900 XTX. Well, the guy was saying he doesn't, they don't sell FEs in his country. So I was trying to see if there's a third party card that would fit. My FEs actually in my, uh, the FEs actually in the Terra. I don't know if another, I don't know what the thinnest 
AIB 4090 is. It's definitely not the Supreme, definitely not the Zotac. Strix is big. Yeah, I think that's kind of the... But what you could do, actually, hold on, hold on, here's an idea. You wanted to, you could put the 4090 Strix, do the front mounted radiator, and then do like a 7700X, or sorry, 7900 non-X or a 13900 air-cooled, and you could do that. Uh, and then you would be, you could do a 4090 in this case. That isn't a Founders Edition. Cause this actually does a 360, so that brand new Strix one, that they, that brand new AIO, 4090 they just announced, that would fit in here, and you, you would be able to do that. But let's put a 4070T on there. Why with the 13900K? Just because we can. Hey, Thomas. Hey, Omega Doom, thank you for the sub. And we're putting a 13900 in this because we wanted to show that it could do a 13900, but it looks like you could do a 13900 Founders Edition 4090 inside of this case if you wanted to. You're welcome, Brent. That's all we do is go mad. We shall see. We shall see. We will test it. We will test it, folks. You will see. Yeah, if I didn't have the 4090 sitting inside of the, uh, if I didn't have the 4090 sitting inside of the Terra right now, we could have could have switched out. But then again, it's like it always feels like we're doing 4090 builds, so. Not everybody has or wants or is going to buy a 4090. So a lot of people buy the 4070 Ti. I heard that the, the 70 series is the most popular. I mean, outside of obviously the 4090, which sells out all the time. But let's put this beautiful card in here. Beautiful. Let me hear a click though. Man, it's still fan, okay. I like that card. The white I love white GPUs. I not I know not white, Roby, it looks like it barely Oh, the, you know what? Dang it, yes. Thank you for reminding me. I forgot, I needed to do the PSU first. Thank you very much for doing that. Oh, wait. No, I don't, I could, I, sorry, I can do, sorry, I wanna do the, uh, I don't need to do the PSU first. Roby. Oh, the half an inch of clearance. Oh, you mean if you do the 4090, you mean? On this card, you don't have that problem because there's actually a good amount of room. But yeah, on the other one, you'd be right up in there. So you'd want, you definitely want to use the cable mod. And by the way, the cable mod right degree adapters are now the right, uh, right, Angled adapters are now for sale. So you could do that. You could do an angled adapter. I mean, this one you have way, you have almost an inch and a half here um, if you want to do this one. So we're actually good with the coverage, the, the, the ability for this one. Okay, now we're gonna do our PSU and then we'll work on our fans. Okay, PSU will install this way.
Okay. Our little tiny 850 watt SF SFX PSU. You think that it's funny because people think that the motherboard's cute. I love these. I mean, look at how tiny this is. It's so it's so cute. You know what I mean? Like this is this is beautiful. How's that? that like that? That's such a win. You know what I'm saying? Hey, what's up, Nameless? Thanks, dude. It has been a while. Thanks for popping in today. How many people are still sticking around? Just found me because of the Diablo stream. Now you're sticking around for some PC building. Seems something a little bit different. Three more subs, geez, guys. Omega Doom, Fam Wham, and Vidic. Thank you very much for the subs, guys. We could unlock a, uh, we could unlock a hype tray. Just here for dad jokes. I'm glad you're here, Nameless. Appreciate you coming back today. We got two small form factor builds. Okay, so we'll need this. We'll need a couple of these because we don't have a... It'd be nice if I had another one of those 1100 watt. I actually used to have two of them. Let me just check something real quick. Corsair did make an SFF case, the 2000D. I used to have two of these. Remember, that's a V850. I thought it had, we actually have, there's actually new Gen 5 SFF, SFF power supplies now, but there's the amp, but that's not SF, uh, PCI 5, and they have the SX1000, also not. Okay, I thought maybe I might have another one. I have one coming for a different build. Ugh. Okay. Let's see what we need here. Okay, so we need this. We only need one of those two. We need two. Need one SATA. Bring back Halo. Uh, I don't think we're gonna do a Diablo 4 build. I, there was a chance to do one. We never, we, just because I wasn't available during Diablo 4. Hey, see you later, Falcon. We are gonna do some more Diablo gaming, but I am not doing a special Diablo build. Not this round. There's more than 1,300. There's 1,600 now and 20 bajillion 100. Have you ever seen the 20 bajillion 100 ones? Most, I think 1,600 is the most mainstream. There are more. I have one, I have this one split, which is fine for this, because it's 850, it's more than enough power for 4070 Ti, so we should be good then. Oh, that's early. Oh, you should do it, Nameless. I'd love to do one for you. We've done we've done them before. You can talk to all sorts of people here in the stream. Uh, we've done a we did a Deadpool one for Riddick, and we've done so. Like, if you want to do something, just let me know. I'm always here. I'm not going anywhere. Still gonna be here, even. Shoot, did I not grab the CPU one? After all that, guys. I left the CPU one and put it back in the bag. Good job, Roby. That was, uh, that was a good job leaving the CPU uh, CPU uh, cable, not bringing it out like a loser. Everybody say, Roby, you're a loser. 
You're a loser. You're a loser, Roby. So why don't you kill me? I'm wondering if wait for 4090 to drop the price of 47 and all. I don't know if the 4090 is gonna drop in price. Dude, it, it was like well past 5,000 series before you saw the 3090 Ti even drop even slightly. So I just, I don't, you know, I, would, I wouldn't expect to, I wouldn't bet on the graces of NVIDIA anytime soon. I don't think they're throttling it for that reason. I think they're throttling it literally because it competes with the same things that they use for the AI stuff. I don't think it's I don't think it's artificial at all. I think it's flat out they can sell it for more money and because it's comparatively to their high-end ADA card, their high-end uh, other cards, um, it's not an artificial inflation at all. Uh, Nameless, honestly, it depends on the games you play. If you're just playing like Diablo and first-person shooters and stuff like that, you do not need to go NVIDIA. You can totally go AMD or even Intel, uh, depending on what level you're looking at. But AMD is a fantastic option if you don't care about ray tracing or um, you don't care about ray tracing and like high graphic single player games. If you like those things, then NVIDIA may be your only choice. Yeah, Tarkov and Diablo 4, you do not need, you can go AMD for sure. No problem. And it's and AMD has been killing it. They've been getting way and way more better. What's up, Dewam Slayer? It's good to see you. By the way, I heard a rumor from Zeist and the team that uh, we actually had Farger in chat here not that long ago, and I missed him. I feel bad about that. Okay, so we're gonna run these cables now. It's good to see you, Dewam. How are you? Oh yeah, here we go. Uh, I like the Arc. I think the Arc has been like, it's funny, the Arc in a lot of way has been like a faster version of AMD. Um, in terms of their driver stuff, their their software teams are pretty pretty incredible. And so their driver work that they have done recently has been really, really awesome in terms of their ability to, to, to squeeze a lot of performance. And for the price, um, I don't know how well it plays Diablo, but for the price, like you can get an A750 now for like less than 200 bucks, which is bonkers from a price standpoint. Okay, I might need to twist this around a little bit just to make it a little... Uh, yes, I mean, honestly, that's what, that's what NVIDIA is basically really their superpower right now is the AI stuff. We don't have enough from AMD yet to know where they are and Intel's, Intel's integrating it into their CPUs. So it'll be on Meteor Lake. How are we doing likes on YouTube, Blondie? Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and push our. Okay, so what we're gonna work on here is just getting our cable management squared. And we're gonna put all of our cables right in here. should work see what that looks like that looks good okay cool let's grab our cables here okay I'm gonna go ahead and grab our extension and run that too just so it's done
So that's, this is for the, oh, that's for the AIO. So we'll have to, I'm gonna definitely make sure that's pretty low, but that should be fine. Okay, let's run this through here so we can get this connected. Have that out of the way. There we go. Okay, here we go. Oh, I wonder if I need to run this through the side. Shoot, okay. Almost had that ready. We got to do one little bit of cable management thing here, which is we gotta run this cable through the side here so it's not sticking out of the top because that's not gonna work. This is the stuff that's like, this is where you might have clearance issues with the 4090. This cable running and stuff like this. This is always the stuff that like, you fit it and then you're like, oh, I think it's gonna fit. And then you come to find out it doesn't fit because it's just that much too small and that much, the, K, the GPU is just that much too big in like one area or something like that, you know? which is unfortunate. Luckily, all of our, it looks like all of our PSU cables are gonna fit nicely right in that little, that little zone right there. I like it when you can, when you get zones. It's like people think about, people think about how to, how the cables are gonna work. You know, it's amazing what happens when case manufacturers actually build in their cases, you know what I'm saying? How we doing on likes on YouTube, guys? Yeah, we have lots of new people on Discord, right? Yeah, this is this is a lot like building, this is a lot like playing hardcore in Diablo. Just gotta be patient. And be intentional. You gotta have some forethought in terms of in terms of how you're gonna put things in and all that sort of stuff. And then if you do that, you'll find that like your your patience always pays off in that regard. Okay. Okay, there we go. So now that I have all that, see that's nice and clumped up. Now I can take one of these. Just run it through here, clump it all together. I wanna grab a bigger one just to make my life easier. No use, no use making my life painful. It's always better just to use bigger zip ties because then you're just like, you have more, more area to grab just because you wanna save, you know, 30 cents on a on a zip tie, you're like spending two hours just working your hands to the bone trying to make it work. You know what I'm saying, guys? I mean, new dance moves. Where, where did you hear I had new dance moves? Have you been taking the secret juice again there, Tom? Uh, 
Yeah, exactly. Zip ties are cheap. Okay, so we're gonna have one little dangly one here. Okay. Run that back this way. Okay, this little dangly that I'm working on right now is because I just, I know I've got a AIO that's gonna need to be connected. So that's what this little dangly bit is for. And then we can get the rest of this. See, look at that. Nice and in control. We like in control, right? I think up here would be good. I think actually just that would be fine. I don't really need more than that. That's holding fine. Sometimes I get OCD, I'm like, oh, it has to have two, but no, it doesn't. And that leaves more room for this. Okay, cool. Done. Done, Z. Dunsey. Guys, we're two subs away from doing a giveaway. Let's get those last two subs. Then we'll be on our way towards a $100 new A gift card. Okay, so here's how the front of our build looks right now. Oh, that's not as pretty as I'd hoped. Oh, that was popping up like that. Okay. Might zip tie that down there. I don't know if I need to though. Is that in? That's in, okay. Okay. PSU's in, EPS is in. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on these fans. So we're gonna do the fans and then all the fans and everything are gonna plug into the hub. So we're just gonna get our fans installed and then once the fans are in, then we just got to do our AIO and we're done. Because the rest of the build just kind of goes like that. So, hey Roby, how did do you, hey Roby, do with the leveling up stream today, are game copies being given away tonight? Sergeant Noby, if, yes, potentially. Uh, I don't know if we'll get 15, I don't know if we'll get 13 levels tonight. So I'm guessing there's a low chance of another giveaway, but you never know. I might just get really into it and then just keep playing. Hey, Dalton, thank you very much for subscribing, man. Appreciate it. So I can't promise anything either way, you know, but we'll find out. Okay, I'm just gonna, okay, next up, let's get our fans in. What am I looking for? This is what I'm looking for. Fans, guys. Who are my fans? Who are my fans? What do you guys think of the build so far? You having a good time? Um, thanks, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Guys, one more sub. Who's gonna get that line? One more sub. We're gonna celebrate. Then we'll have another giveaway. One more sub. Throw home in. Thank you very much for the dollar 25, my man. Look at all the fans. No Pulse doing it. There it is, the last one. Guys, we have zero kick subs. I don't even know how many people are watching on kick, though, to be honest. No kick subs. There might be nobody watching. Uh, House and Wow, we'll send it wherever as long as you pay for the shipping and coordinate and the income and the uh, import stuff. Juniper also dropping a gifted sub. Sergeant Nobody dropping a sub over on the old uh, kick. There we go, we got some kick kick love going on. And I'll go ahead, because uh, remember, if we get 25 over on kick, we'll also do a giveaway. Kick is a Twitch, is like Twitch. So far, it actually has been pretty easy in terms of doing SF, in terms of doing this build. Okay, uh, I'm gonna uh, update the giveaway, hold on. 
One more time. One more time. Subscriber. Subscriber. All right, uh, we are on our way towards a $100 new gift card. We have 51. Zero six oh nine twenty twenty three. All right, next goal is in there. Dalton, thank you very much for the ten dollars. You are, I appreciate you, my man. We need a hundred more guys. A hundred more subs. I mean, a hundred more likes, not subs. I mean, we always need more subs, but you need a hundred more likes. Oh yeah, here we go. Thank you very much, man. I really appreciate the 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 chat. Man, I cannot wait for the so I was so like I wish I could have told you guys about the uh, link stuff a long time ago. Cause I got to see it at I got to see their iLink stuff back at CES. Can I just tell you how excited I am about the iLink stuff and how you don't have to use two, you just basically put these together and they're good to go. How much better that's gonna be? Just saying. All these cables. They'll just be one cable and one hub. That's it. Yeah, the Corsair Link stuff is, yeah. I don't, Sergio, I don't know if they had it, but as soon as, we, don't worry, we will definitely be building with it as soon as we can. Like everything, the AIO is like one connection, like everything is just one connection. It's gonna be so awesome. Yeah, the, that's gonna be, it's gonna make building way easier. It's like they took what Lee and Lee did and like put it on crack because they, they, they have the entire ecosystem, which is pretty cool. Okay. Let's get our fans in here. This build would be so much easier because I just would all, I'd just link it. I just use the link. I wonder how much shorter builds are going to be because like cable management is just going to be like ridiculously easy. There we go. Okay, so now that runs this down. And then we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna have our hub down here at the bottom. Next one we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead. We're not gonna mount this yet, but we are gonna run the cable down. So just a little, this is the order of operation stuff I was telling you about, is that you still wanna run the cable down and have the cables down here. Because then when you put this bottom fan in, you want all the cables to be underneath this bottom fan here. That's right, you gotta slide this down. Because this motherboard is like right up against the edge. There you go. Okay, so now what I had to do, guys, is because of the motherboard clearance, 
the VRM, you just gotta kinda slide it in here like this and then you can get it in. But you had to, like you have to pre-route, just to teach you, you have to pre-route your middle fan because you can't do it afterwards. You have to do this and then you'll do your middle fan last. You just drop your king, right? Just like that. Drop kick, thank you for the sub. There we go. Thanks, BX. We'll play some Diablo on this afterwards. It's already got an OS and stuff on it. Okay, so there we go. So there's that. And now what we do, just gotta be careful here and find the right cable. Huh? Shoot, I should have done it the other way. Find the right cable here. There's that one. A little bit of a pain in the butt here, but we'll get it in. There it goes. Okay. Just takes a little bit of, takes a little bit of coaxing, takes a little bit of work, but if you're patient, it'll go down. And then you have all your cables in the right place. Okay, fans are installed. Okay, so there's all our fans. They're all just running down the bottom. And you can't really see them, which is cool. So there's our three RGB fans ready to go, right? Looking nice. This looks good too. Let's make sure we plug this stuff back in. That's important. Okay, just making sure I have it the right way. Okay. Okay, everything's plugged in, stuff's out of the way, and it's nice and clean. Okay, and then here's all of our stuff. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our hub from our system and get that, and basically our hub for the AIO, get that in, and then we'll mount, we'll basically put our AIO together, mount our cooler, and then we'll basically mount our AIO onto the thing. So that's it, and then we're basically good to go. Now one thing we can do, just because it's fun, is let's go ahead and hook up, this is the cable that comes with the PSU, and it routes around the outside. So get this hooked up, just for funsies. This goes right here, and then this basically routes into each one of these channels. And then this will go underneath all of the, the little plastic here. A pretty cool little channel thing.
What do you guys think? The build so far, you, like, what do you think of the build process? Am I making it look easy? Because it's funny, because we, uh, we had to learn a lot before building in this, so we're showing you the right way. We're making this definitely look easier than if you have never built with, if we had never built in this case before, but because we had, we had like we knew we knew the right things to do. So I just want to let you know that we're making this seem easier than I mean we're making it seem easy just because we've learned. So and then again this just goes right here and then you have your power plug for your your PSU. So there that's so we routed that. Now what we can do is let's go and grab our block. We're gonna just set it right down here and then uh, we'll do the rest of our AIO. Grab some water. Grab some water. Okay, I'm gonna start getting the rest of our AIO out. There we go. There's one bag, one, one bag, ah, ah, ah. Yeah, I'm excited when this is done. Two, two fans. Here's our third set of fans. Hey, Sergeant, nobody stretch, saying stretch, okay? There we go. That is a nice stretch. Yeah. I'm glad, Fuddly One. I'm trying to make it look easy. I also want it to be straightforward so people know how to basically build, like what to build, you know what I mean? Or how to build. We want this to be like, so you're not going through a ton of pain to figure out how to do this. Hey, Dalton, thank you very much for the second one, man. Another super chat, appreciate you. Oh, the plastic. Oh, brutal. Oh, shoot. Oh, I was like, no, I broke it. Never mind. I didn't break it. I just hit, it, hit the. There we go. Tom, uh, uh, Riddick, I'm sorry. I, I forgot. I my your thing is at my house, so I'm sorry about not bringing it. Roby Stretch Armstrong, thank you. I try. I try. Okay, so we have a couple things here just to get hooked up. First, thing we're going to do is we're going to run our other cables. I actually think that I could. I was thinking with half a brain here. We're going to run this up like this. So I might redo. Might redo some of. Ooh, jeez. Give it a little bit of room here. But I might redo this little bit of cable manager right here. So let's just show you guys the side camera here. Because this should be, if I'm not mistaken, long enough to connect right there, which is awesome. Perfect. And then this is going to run right up into here. Okay. So if I get these into these tubes here, then I think we're good. I think I can do this in a top-down version. Okay, top-down, so you can see a little bit better. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna cable manage this into the large wire clump we have right here. Okay, now we'll go to side.
Just getting this cable managed. It's pretty light cable management, nothing too crazy, but enough to make that straightforward there. Do one more right there, and then we're our build is cable managed already, guys. Because remember, we don't have anything outside of this. So this, there's nothing. I mean, we might have to do a little bit of the clumps of the fans, but I can pretty much cable manage those out of the way. And then just like that, there's all of our major cable management already done. It's all hooked up, looks good. Okay, nice, I like it. I like it when a plan comes together, ladies and gentlemen. I like it when a plan comes together. Okay, now what we can do is let's hook up our fans and then we'll clump these together. These are just gonna go into this on this side and then we'll clump the other ones on the other side. And we still have our pump, a couple pump cables to figure out, um, which is gonna be kind of a pain, but there's not a whole lot I'll be able to do about some of this stuff for sure, just because of how everything falls together. So This is where you won't even, with with the iLink stuff, you won't even have this anymore. It'll just, the fans will just have one connection. It's gonna be so crazy. And it's that one connection feels like they just, basically there's one like proprietary, like it's almost like a USB type connection that you hook up and then you're done. It's gonna be so nice. You do not have to worry about that. I'm telling you, man, I cannot wait for that day. It's been hard keeping, keeping quiet about it because you look at it and you're like, oh man, another Corsair system. And you're like, gosh, can you not talk about it already? Can you not get this released so we can talk about it? Because I really wanna live in that world already. Everybody wants to live in that world. A world of no cables. Am I right? You guys know I'm right. Wow, okay, this is not. This part is gonna be a little bit more brutal. I was kinda hoping for, okay. Okay, let's go to side cam, because you can't really see that right there. Okay, so what we're working on right now is just figuring out how to make this look better. Shouldn't, I'm not gonna take too much time, because again, there's not a lot that you can see. I just want it to be enough that it's not Ridiculous. Okay, there we go. So that takes care of these. And then these are all on this side. So this should be a pretty straightforward process. I'm just gonna try and make like a, a small. There we go. Nice small RGB clump.
nice small RGB clump. Roby, ask your question earlier, what do you think of the IQ Link? Honestly, I'm really excited about it. Of course, we have to see it in practice, you know what I mean, and use it, but um, I saw it, I saw it actually at CES. They showed it early to a small group of people and I got to be one of those people. Um, so when I saw it then, it was real, I was really excited about it. And like I said, I've been waiting to, to see the announce because I knew the announce was supposed to be as part of Computex. So now it's like, as soon as they announced it, I've already written my Corsair rep who, an his name's Andrew. And I was like, dude, when do we get to play with this? And so they, uh, he doesn't know. I'm hoping, so I'm hoping that we're gonna do an activation. We're doing the launch of the new ASU, the new, sorry, the new Corsair Xeon monitor, their new 27 inch OLED, which is beautiful by the way. If you're looking for an OLED monitor, it's stunning. And if you have questions, if you don't believe me, you can ask Zeistin and Igor, who I, it's part of my LAN kit that I bring on travel. So if you wanna say like, is it as good as Roby says it is, they saw it in person. So if you wanna ask, um, but um, I, I call, I talked to him and I was like, when do I, can, I'm hoping that that week, which is the last week of June, we'll be able to, uh, we'll be able to do a, a build on site at Origin with the link stuff. So that's my hope. Okay guys, we're just finishing out this build. But I'm really excited about it. The, it's something, if anybody needed it, like desperately needed it, Honestly, if anybody desperately needed it, it was Corsair. Come on, can I get it? Can I get a witness? You know what I'm saying? Because that thing, I mean, their stuff. I mean, Zeiston, just ask Zeiston. He hasn't even freaking cable managed his current build. He won't let me look in the back. because he's worried I'm gonna judge him, and I would. The thing is, is I, not Zeiston, the thing is, is IQ, it does so much, right? Like it is, it's such an impressive piece of software that a lot of people are willing to pay the initial tax to get it all set up and stuff like that, but this just makes it way easier, right? Because you have an ecosystem now that is like literally super plug and play. Uh, I think like the thing, but the fact of the matter is, is that even if the software still has a heavy overhead, uh, 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 Raxness, the, um, the fact that, uh, that you can do it as hardware lighting, it means you don't necessarily need to. Okay, that looks, see? Look at that, that looks nice and clean, right? It's just sitting down there at the bottom. It's just gonna chill down there. Not gonna do anything crazy. I guess I can run, again, just nice and cleaned up. I can run one more down here just to make it a little bit cleaner. Okay, guys, this is it. The last bit of this is just the, P, the the AIO. It's funny because there's not as much, you can't do as much cable management for this because of how the AIO has to go in. So this is actually gonna go relatively quick once we get it built. All right. Go to top down, show you guys the build as it sits right now. What the heck am I hitting on? No. Oops. Okay, there is the build. Now, if I wanted to, but I'm not going to, but if you wanted to and you really wanted to make this look a little bit better, I mean, it, it actually, it looks great. You could stick this down here if you wanted to, and then with it sticking down there, 
you, you, it would be easier to just have it managed. But I think this is the way I recommend it. Like I said, we got the puck down here at the bottom, the fans, you, I showed you how to basically get them in. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put together the AIO and then get it done. And the way we do the AIO is we're essentially going to mount the AIO, mount the AIO, and then from there, we'll, uh, once we get the AIO mounted, then we'll, we'll do the rest of it, but we'll put it together real quick. Let's get our thermal paste on. This stuff spreads phenomenally well. There we go. Oh yeah, cool. Well, I'm out of, oh no, I'm not quite. The rest of that will spread out as we do the, uh, yeah, Bob Ross we paint. go okay that's done okay let's get our let's get our AIO put together real quick now uh, we are going to do we want tubes at the top so we're gonna have tubes at the top right Yeah, tubes at the top. Then we're gonna run our cables down. Might run them down the right side because it'll be easier to manage this way here. We're doing intake into exhaust, so we'll be feeding cold air from the outside directly into the AIO. Okay, we're just gonna get our Get our fans mounted. Easy peasy. You know, once we get these in, then we'll do the rest. Uh, it is exhaust. It's not intake, it's exhaust. We'll be doing exhaust. Intake through the front and then exhaust. So intake through the side and then exhaust out of the, through the AIO. Cause you wanna have the uh, high static pressure part of the fan on this. It's all good. And no, I don't have to worry about hoses because the, the pump will be at well well below, will not be at the top of the the 
It will not be at the top of the loop, so there's nothing to worry about from a hose where the hoses are. Almost done, guys. It's always a little bit of the longest part is just the uh, putting the I.O. together. Okay, there we go. And given that we're going to be running the cables this way, we're just going to quickly cable manage this so it's just down. Simple cable management. Nothing crazy. It's funny, it's uh, on the newer ones, this is like, these are MLs. On the newer fans, they're airflow fans, which we we're showing over here, the AFs. The, uh, the fans do have white cables. But I mean, given that you can't see anything in this case, it, I mean, it's not as, it, it's like, you won't see them in this case. So I wouldn't, it's not too, it's not too big of a, not too big of an issue here. Okay, now comes the hard part because we gotta try and, this is where it starts getting a little bit difficult. This is always the joy of SFF. Where's my crud? What did I do with my? Sorry guys, I'll bring it more into view. I just gotta. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to knock it out of view for you. There we go. There we go. Gosh darn it, stay in there.
Okay, now, a couple small connections to make. One goes down to the pump here. The other one, pretty straightforward. There we go, okay, so we got two connections to make. The first one is our CPU fan header. Shoot, that is not gonna be easy to get. Question is, which one is CPU fan header? I'm gonna look real quick. And then I'm gonna use my tweezers on my kit right here to get the little plastic bit off of it, but, oopsie. Mini ITX cases, hey, this is a Asus Strix. Z790-I. Okay, Z790-I, support. Oh, support. Gonna look at the manual real quick. User manual not. There's English, there it is. Okay, we're gonna zoom in. We're just gonna find where the CPU. CPU is, oh, there's two of them. Oh no, four, okay. Okay, I found it. Okay, let's get the cable here real quick. So it's this, it's the closest one. But they did something kind of cool, but it's it's also kind of a pain in the butt. They put a little plastic cover over it. To protect the connections, but To get to it is a little bit harder. There you go. Okay, got it off. And then now I need this cable right here. Luckily, it's easier to plug in. That one's not so, yeah, it's easy to get plugged in. Okay, and this cable. Goes right here at the bottom. Okay. I'm trying to think of the best way to do this. Might be to run this over, zip this into this one here. Oh shoot, came undone, dang it, don't come undone. You were just in there. I think I might run this up the, no, I don't think the pump. There's not a whole lot. I'm trying to think of the best thing to do here, but I don't think there's any way to just do this where it's not just in front of the pump or, I might be able to run this around, I guess. Oh, I could. I guess I could put this down here. There we go. Let's 
turn this down below here. There we go. And this cable, I think I'll just go ahead and zip tie that just like that. So it's just out of the way. Little bit of figuring out. The shorter ones. Okay. How are we doing likes on YouTube, guys? Okay, we're just gonna put this just like this. It's just kind of out of the way. There we go. Okay, now, Comes our little fan issue. Which guys, I'll be honest, there's not a whole lot I'm gonna be able to do here, but it's kind of the joy of this whole process here. You gotta get these hooked up here as best you can, but this just like, all you can do is really kind of push the cables out of the way because the AIO just, <laughs> the way it sits. There we go, and one more. You have to see how that looks when we're done. Okay. But luckily we have all the other ones bundled, so it's actually a little bit straightforward here. Okay, last group of cables here. And by the way, if you're gonna mix like you can see, I'm actually mixing fan types. If you're gonna mix fans on Corsair, just as an FYI, it will take whatever the first one is plugged into the hub. So in this case, because the first ones I plugged in were, um, okay, so this, I can. what I'm gonna try and do is I'm gonna try and get these like all kind of lined up into a single umbilical, because this is gonna be down here like this. It's about the best I'm gonna be able to do and then just kind of push it out of the way. So it's a little bit less cool than what we did with the, and what we did with the, uh, what we did with the, uh, the other fans because we can't really cable manage them all that much, but we can kind of get them into a single umbilical so we can just kind of push it around. It's about the best you can kind of do here. Like that, and this will sit down like that. It's kind of it for this, it's just a single one. Is what, Roby Tech Bot, is what legit? Tell about the, is it the, VIP thing, the VIP CDK deals thing is for sure legit. Guys, we're getting close to the end of the build, so make sure that you hit that like button. I mean that, that last little bit, because we're at the end. I literally am uh, now just gonna start putting this on. And that just goes down. And that's it. That's pretty much it. Okay, now, for the bracket, where did I put it? There it is.
Oh, right, here we go. Getting this screwed in, sorry, there you go. Okay, almost there guys. The music is dramatic. Okay guys, we're over 300 people here right now. We can just hit that like button real quick. It will not take that long. There's only, we only need like 90 likes. So if you can head on over, let's get a direct link to the build, to the build and go hit that like button. Okay, cool. Just like that, the build is done. Okay, we're just gonna seal that in. Go hit that thumbs up, because remember, we do another giveaway based on the on uh, that's those likes there we go go over there and hit that thumbs up guys how fast can we do it? We can do it, we can do it. 171, keep going. Let's get to three, let's get to 250. Wanna unlock that giveaway. Here we go. Appreciate all those likes. Just, it's free. Doesn't cost you anything. What's up, Sorrow Anime? Okay, cool. There we go, guys. muscle movement. Nice goalie. Appreciate that. Okay. Boys and girls, the build is done. Okay. I'm just going to make sure that our stuff is all nothing hitting this is the problem right is like there's no way to kind of verify that it should be good it's all nice and clean okay let's go to
put this away. There we go. Let's go to bottom and seal up the bottom. Well, I guess we don't want to seal up the bottom because we still have to put stuff in it. Like I said, the right thing to probably do is to like glue this, I mean to glue this down, but I'm not gonna, cause I'm, the build's getting taken apart, I'm not gonna glue this down, so not a big deal. But we'll be able to get our stuff in there if we wanted to. Okay, let's put the rest of the build together. <sighs> okay, so starting with the top, So it just covers right over that. Go to the side here. There we go. Left side. The other side. And there we go, build is done. And then you have the cable just running off the back here. And there it goes. Okay, so let's count. Let's count our, let's count our, let's count our zip ties real quick. And then see how many zip ties we actually had. Did we do the zip tie count? We'll find out. We're going to turn it on in just a few seconds. Then we'll uh, we're going to go through our our first sponsor real quick, and then we'll uh, we'll uh, turn it on, and then we'll test it, and then we have some Rocat stuff to show off, and then we'll get to we'll benchmark uh, just uh, noise and volume, and see how it does, and then we'll we'll play some Diablo. Um, guys, that build went actually really quick. It's only seven thirty-seven. It took two and a half hours. <sighs> Plug that in. There we go. Charging our wow stick. All right, let's see how many zip ties we used. Yeah, it did, it went nice and smooth, you're right. So we have some new uh, hardware we're showing off today from Rocat. Basically sent us a mouse and a keyboard, um, showing that off today. And we've been using that for Diablo. So we'll show that off. It's called their, it's got their Magma. And it, which actually like the whole keyboard thing lights up. So that should be pretty cool. We're gonna show that off. And then while we're doing our benchmarking and show you some of the lighting stuff and things like that too. Uh, and then we're gonna go through our stuff. But let's count these real quick. See how, we, how many we used. Here we go, first one. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. There's five. Two, three, one, two, three, four, five. There's ten. One, two, three, four, five. There's fifteen. Sixteen, seventeen, nineteen. Odd. It is odd today, guys. 19. Wow, it's, yeah, 32. That's That would be normal, but it's given an SFF build, it's a much smaller number than what I typically run into. 30, uh, 19. Odd, guys. Odd are the winners. Okay, let's run through our sponsor real quick. 
and then we'll uh, we'll get started on uh, benchmarking and getting it turned on, and then we'll go from there. I already have a. Okay. Okay, so you get finished with, uh, you get finished with a build like this and you're like, hey, Roby, I need to go ahead and pick up a copy of Windows or whatever it is, right? So how much is a normal copy of Windows? Well, if you're gonna pick it up at uh, Best Buy, it'd be, you know, 100, 120, 130 bucks. Sometimes it'll drop below 100. But here you can go, you can pick up a copy of Windows 10 right here at VIP slash CDK deals. You can get a home key for $18.77 or a pro key for $22.71. But if I click on Windows 10 Home, and I use code buy now and hit apply. Oops, hold on one sec. Forgot to log in. So I get finished, I hit buy now. And then when I hit buy now, use code RBCK at checkout, hit apply. What was $18.77 is now $13.14, which is a very inexpensive version for Windows if you want to pick up a copy of Windows. Uh, no, no XP, unfortunately. Uh, say for instance, you're looking for Microsoft Office. You want to pick up a copy of Office, you know, with summer school or you're starting summer quarter for college. Here's Office 2021, regularly $203.57, now called Microsoft 365 or 365 or something like that. Use same thing, buy now. What was $74.52? Use the same code, RBCK at checkout. What was $74.52? drops down to a very nice and whopping $52.16. So very, very inexpensive. We literally have had thousands of people here within our channel uh, basically use this uh, to pick up copies of Windows. If you have questions, you can just ask right within chat. We have literally people who are like, hey, I bought three copies, 10 copies, whatever it was. It is legit. They have great customer service if you wanna check them out. Uh, and then if you have issues with the keys, their customer service will help you with those as well. Um, and again, you just have to ask their customer service response very, very quickly. Now they are OEM, which means they're single use. They don't work with multiple PCs or anything like that. Um, so it will only work with a single system. But again, $13 for that seems like a, a low price to pay uh, if you want to do anything like that. Anyway, check it out, VIP slash CDKDeals.com. Um, and then the other thing too, as I want to tell you guys about just real quick, and then we'll get to turning this on and we'll show it a little bit more. But some of the stuff that we're showing today is we're showing some stuff for Rocat, uh, which Rocat is right here. So uh, Rocat is, uh, their, um, they are a German company, German engineering. Uh, we're showing a number of them. We're showing off the ELO 7.1 Air. Uh, and then we also have uh, keyboards, mouse, and headset. Uh, their most popular keyboard right now is the Magma. You're actually seeing it right here, the Rokak Magma. It's a full-size wired silent membrane gaming keyboard. So if you don't want a lot of noise or clickety-click, it's still there. You can actually, and I'll show you this, via third-party software, add a click sound if you want to and then disable it. So as you're typing, Rokat will actually play the sound that you want. You can even make it sound like a typewriter, some pretty fun stuff there. Uh, and then they have some smart lighting and things like that that work uh, depending on if you uh, if you uh, enable it and stuff like that. And then again, we have some gaming mouse options as well. Uh, the one we're checking out is the Cor Corn, where, where is the one we're checking out? It's the Cone Pro, right? Let's verify right here. Yeah, it's the Cone Pro Air. Uh, it's their one, it's their wireless one. It's got multiple zone lighting. Uh, you can basically set up different, uh, you know, DPI settings and stuff like that. I'll show you some of that in the software. But if you want to check those out, they're all over at robytech.com. Uh, they have some really incredible deals, all for sale on Best Buy. We're gonna, I have used it. You saw me actually be successful playing with it using Hardcore Diablo. 
as well. So anyway, huge shout out to Rocat as well for sponsoring today's stream uh, and Best Buy uh, for hooking up with those deals. Just check it out, uh, robitech.com slash Rocat. Uh, Rocat, I think is just, oh, it's Rocat gaming mice, headset, stuff like that. There isn't a single place for that stuff, but it's pretty cool. Insane in the membrane. So anyway, I uh, got that. Uh, huge shout out to them. Let's get this turned on, get it hooked up, uh, and then we'll uh, we'll take a look at how it performs and stuff like that. How are we doing likes on YouTube though? That's my that's my bigger concern. We still we still tracking for likes on YouTube? Yeah, I I know a lot of people. It's German engineered. I know a ton of people who really really like their stuff. Uh, this is my first chance getting to use them. Um, you know, and from what I've seen, like it's like. You have to get a little bit used to the, uh, the um, if you're used to a clicky click, but the membrane things, the things I like about membrane keyboards is just how quiet they are. Now keyboards, mice, headsets, they're all a very, very, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's all based on preference, right? So what may, one person may like, another person likes, for instance, Zeiston really likes the HS80 from, uh, doesn't mind the HS80 from Best Buy. I can't stand it, right? It's just not my headset. I think it's too warm. Uh, I don't like the way it feels. So it really comes down to, it's just, it's up to personal preference uh, in terms of where I'm going. Now I'm showing you guys here, I'm hooking up uh, the keyboard and mice and stuff like this. So here it is on the side in order to get this stuff hooked up. You gotta route it through this back area and plug it in. So it's not as straightforward as just plugging something in at the bottom or anything like that. You do actually have to do a little bit of work here to get this stuff hooked up. So we are running running all the cables now so you can see this. Um, but you do have pretty good clearance. Now the power just plugs right here in the back. You've got, I've routed that cable. So that's, that's straightforward. Land, you have to run over to the motherboard side, which is up over here. There we go. And then you have your HDMI, which I'll run the first one so you guys can see it. And then uh, once we get the other thing, I'll turn it back over and hook up. Um, oh shoot, this, may, this HDMI may not work. Oh, I guess I can just run it. Oh no, I can't, I, I forgot. I was like, again. No, this HDMI is not gonna work, guys. So I'm not gonna be able to show you. I'm gonna have to have it on its side to show you guys my HDMI is too thick. It's a thick boy HDMI cable. A 90 degree HDMI adapter would be nice. Same thing with this, the, this is always the issue I have with these cables. Okay, that one seems to run okay, but the HDMI is too small. So I'm gonna turn it on so you guys can see it. But I, and then I'm gonna have to, I have no way to run thermals. Oh, wait, 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 I can. I can do it this way, hold on. We'll just have to put it on the crack, it's fine. My cable's too thick. My thick boy cable. Yeah, we'll find out, guys. Don't worry. We'll get it. We'll get it all squared away. I'm just running all the. Okay, that's all the cables there. Unfortunately, I'm gonna have to run it way over on the side. Because of how this, the, my, it's because of my super thick HDMI cable. Okay, here we go. But we can, that's fine, it's fine. We'll just have to have it off on the side. You guys can still see it there. Okay, so there it is. Oh, I can't throw this on because it won't fit. Okay, let us get it turned on. Oh, I want to disconnect the, disconnect the, uh, so you guys can see it. Okay, I'm just disconnecting display port until we get past that, because you guys want to see it post and stuff like that. Okay, here we go. Shoot, did I? Okay, it's on, okay. That's nice. I was a little worried. It's like most SFF builds, when we do this, you can't, um, you don't actually get to, uh, 
you don't actually get to uh, check the power cable because it's like it, the power because it's way inside. But this one, not the same problem. Okay, here we go. Do we have will it post? Is it? Are we? Are we ready? De uh, are we ready, Blondie? Yes, Blondie, go ahead and run it. Okay. Um, okay, we got that all set. The Rocat is plugged in. We're good there. We're just going to wait for the Will It Post thing to finish. I'm actually almost drank this. Okay, guys, make sure that you do your vote. While you're at it, while you're waiting for this, head on over to youtube.com slash robytech. Hit that thumbs up button. So that way we basically uh, can, you can vote on, you can also see if, uh, you can also uh, basically hit that thumbs up button so we can basically unlock that last giveaway. We're, we need 60 more, guys. There's 306 people here. We just need people to go over and hit that thumbs up button so we can get over there. Let's get at least up north of 200 right now. Just quickly hit that button. Uh, hit that thumbs up button. And then is the prediction ready? Let me go to... People saying yes. Yeah, no hype train. All we have is the $50 New A gift card. We can unlock the $25 New A gift card, guys. So we can do two gift cards. Okay, it's good to go. Here we go. Oh, how do I turn it on? That's a good question. Oh, it's on. I see fans. Oh, look at that. There's that light right there. Now we wait to see will it post. We're waiting. We're waiting. Oh, there it is. It does post. It is posted. There we go, guys. It is posted. We are now in, and we are good to go. It's new CPU installed, hit F1. Yeah, it's like a little RGB lamp in the corner, that's right. Here's a little, here's a front angle, right? There's not a lot to see with the build because of just what kind of build it is, but there it is. Okay, so we're going in there. Let's just quickly turn on X and P. Oh, XMP is enabled. We have our storage is there. It's a 500 gig. Okay, so we haven't made any changes. We're just gonna let this run and reset. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go ahead and hook up our display port cable. So then we can run some thermals and all that sort of stuff. Mickey Mouse it a little bit here. Okay. Okay, we are back in. Yeah, it is actually a really cute build. Nice and small and ready to go. Makes it easy. I like it. Doesn't take up a lot of room on the desk either. Wait, how do I run this? There we go. Okay. Okay, remind me in three days. Okay. So we're now into testing mode. 
Sure to put this up. Okay, we're good there. Switching over to the side camera, get ready for bench mode. Okay, there we go. Got our little cable inside, build inside here. Let's get our capture. Okay, we got everything all set up already, ready for testing and all that sort of stuff. So, take a seat here. Ugh. Bring up my chats here. There we go. Let's get those likes, guys. Okay, so here we are. I'm gonna restart this. We're also, real quick, quick I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna duplicate these. Okay, oops. All right, here we go. Change this to 2560 by 1440. Okay, let's install Rocat. Okay, downloads, driver, download. Then they should, is it all, it's all, uh, oh, it's RGB right now. We'll keep it RGB, I think RGB works. I think RGB's pretty. I think we want RGB inside, so we'll leave it alone, with RGB. Uh, downloads. Extract all here. All right, there we go. All right, build is done. We got it set up. Let's go to robitech.com. do a just so you guys know you can grab wallpapers we have a bunch of different ones we'll grab this one save there we go okay so wallpaper is all done okay so now what we're gonna do let's just check our so let's bring up I think we have Harvard I don't think we do we don't have hardware okay let me add hardware info monitor real quick there we go download this Okay, we're gonna put this up so you guys can see the wattages and stuff like that. There we go. Got my water. By the way, this is that road. Look at this. You go to hold on. So this is what I was talking about. Look at this. Look at the look at the lighting on that. Isn't that really cool? So this is the Rocat, this is the Magma, and then you have the other thing, here's the, this is the uh, 
the cone that we're teching at right here. Again, the lighting zones, very, very different, but the Magma has really, really, really cool lighting and stuff that you can customize and stuff like that. And again, the keys themselves are actually very quiet. Like this is what I'm talking about, like a membrane. That's how quiet it is. So it's membrane. And so, so uh, uh, Corsair has a similar one as well. There's other ones. This is for people who don't want to basically have it make noise, which is pretty cool. That's yeah, like a sh I, I like the I like how much RGB you actually have um, for your for your keyboard. It makes it it makes it nice and uh, it makes it uh, I don't know. It's just it's very bright, um, which is cool. Okay, we got hardware info monitor now. So let's open this up and let's just see what our temps are. So right now we're idling in the 30s. That's good. We're pulling. I mean, nothing too crazy. 36, nothing too crazy on the voltages and stuff like that. Okay, let's run Cinebench to see what our temps are gonna be like when it's max. There we go. So again, 200, running only 250 watts under stock. 250 watts, you are gonna get 37,000. So again, you have some room, and this is the way that I like to do this, guys, is that you actually have the control. Right now, the BIOS, all that sort of stuff, nothing else is, is screwing with your machine right now. You are like, now you can go through and you can start working on undervolting, overclocking to give it more room. But look at the temps, the temps sitting in 84, 85, well within room, and then you can play and push the AIO as much as you need to. Oh, sorry. Gosh darn it, sorry guys. Your keyboard blinded. But again, look at here, you're sitting at 84, 85, it's pulling 250 watts, which is Intel stock. Uh, you know, you're still getting 5255 five, five across the board. And then again, your score is sitting right now in the 36, 38. Again, perfectly fine for stock wattages, but now you can run XTU, or you, know, you could run XTU, run their auto, uh, their auto overclocker, or you could basically do it yourself, do a little undervolting and then overclock. You can get those things well above, probably pretty close to 40, and your temps are still going to be in the in the in the 80s and not in the 90s, right? This is one of the things I really appreciate. The other thing too is that you have a 360 millimeter AIO. You're getting direct flow direct from the intake, full right into the exhaust. So it's pulling cold air right from the outside, and it's getting fed right into the AIO which is actually really nice as well. So the thermal design of this case is actually really cool um, as well. So uh, temperature wise, stuff like that, very, very little to worry about with you running it. And again, you can, we just found out, run this with a 13900K and a 4090 and a small form factor without any issue whatsoever. And all this doing is we turned off all the crap, no MCE, nothing like that. It's just basically stock Intel settings right now. So, which is, and then gaming wise, you're not gonna have to worry about that at all. But again, this is one of the things I really, really love as chipsets like Z790 and even Z690 back, as they start to mature, you start to see a lot of the crud where people basically release new hardware, like new CPUs, and then companies like Asus and MSI and others just try and shove as much wattage and voltage out of those things, which is well above what Intel wants. And then it takes like, you know, six revs of BIOSes to get it back under control because people just they, like, they want to basically make the, as you're buying the first stuff, we're going to have the best performance, but it's a cost of just your cooling and everything else, making it just look bad. So again, great. This is where it should be. It's sitting at 250, the wattage is fine. And again, what I can do is if I need to overclock, I have that control. And for most people, this is gonna be absolutely great. And this case, again, showing with this AIO and everything like that, completely capable um, of doing this. And you, you do have room in here. You do have room in here if you wanted to, to do like a Fantex D30 or something like that, if you really wanted to, and just really make a really crazy overclock machine, you could absolutely do that. And the best thing about it is just with how the chambers are in this case, because the, the CPU is, a GPU is basically off to the side, just getting its own airflow. You're just not getting as much of an issue. It's really, really well designed for what it is, and it's really not that big. It's not tiki size, but it's definitely not, you know, not big in terms of what you what you have. 
Uh, Cash, honestly, at this point in time, it's, it's a toss-up between the two. Do you have room in there for some fried chicken? No, tough and stuff. I don't have any room in here for the fried chicken. So Duom Slayer, yeah, for the most part, keep everything in stock and then you can play with it. Like I, if I wanted to, I could throw them next to you right now and definitely work on getting this CPU back into the third, into the 40s if I wanted to. Just by, I'd first start with undervolting, which means my temperatures are gonna come da go down. And then from there, start working with my boost clock, stuff like that, which would get me an, an ideal thing. And, I, and I'm guessing 10 to one, I might be in the low 90s when I'm under load. But again, for gaming, we're not gonna see anything like that, so. Any other questions you guys can think of? If not, we'll throw in, well, uh, I, I don't know what games we actually have on here. That's a good question. I think we've got like cyberpunk, stuff like that, if you want to see that. Um, we got some other games, but or, you know, whatever you want to do. But we could also show, obviously we're going to show Diablo 3 and I should start the download for that. But let me open up, let me open up Steam here. There's my phone over there. Oh yeah. Uh, do one Slayer, yeah, you can. The only thing too is like what you might be is again, you can run it as stock and then you could do some overclocking or you know, if you wanted to like have somebody like us do some overclocking for your system and then you could, you know, maxing it out where your temperatures aren't crazy. But you know, for simulations and stuff like that, it really just depends. I mean, this system is, the setup is fantastic. Um, and again, yeah, dark, yeah, we can run, we'll run Diablo here in just a second. So let me, let me stop this. We'll throw Afterburner on here so you guys can see it. Now, one of the things I love about Diablo, and I know people are gonna, write, you know, well, what version of Afterburner is this? Is, oh, this is must be the old one. Oh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna uninstall this Afterburner. He, it's, he, he was doing all his stuff in here. Okay, now we're gonna put our version on here. Now, one of the things I like about, one of the things I like about MSI, I mean, specifically uh, Diablo, and we, we talked about it, like BMOC and I were doing this in terms of the comparison. I mean, honestly, you can definitely see for Diablo, Diablo is very much NVIDIA optimized. And this is always one of the things that comes down to when people say, you know, what, you know, should I get, should I get AMD? Should I get uh, NVIDIA? It's like, this is a great example, like technically, BMOC was running uh, his PC, which is a 70, BMOC was a 7900X and a 7900 XT. And I was running a 13900 and a 4080. Now the 7900 XT is technically, it's, it's slightly less powerful, but can be more powerful because he was overclocked than a 4080. And his, his 3D Mark score, everything was higher than mine. But I was getting stock 30 plus FPS more than he was getting in Diablo. So he was hitting in the 230s. I was in the 250s, 260s without frame generation. This was just basically raw. And that's where optimization can mean a bit great deal. So a lot of times when you, nowadays, it used to be there was a clear de delineation between which PC you would buy and who, who would be the right choice. But now it's become a whole lot harder because actually having the optimizations happen, like for instance, Jedi Fallen Order with AMD versus Jedi Fallen Order with Nvidia, can make a big difference in terms of the experience, et cetera, right? So it does make it a little bit harder than it used to um, in terms of choosing the right GPU. Tough and stuff, it, it, yes, NVIDIA, it's an, it's an NVIDIA, it's an NVIDIA backed game. The NVIDIA, like they, like we were supposed to play it during the 4060 Ti stream. It is NVIDIA paid Blizzard to, um, NVIDIA played Blizzard to use them as the GPU sponsor. And then the other thing too is that when you, and as somebody who worked in games for 20 years, like when we, when Halo, when we had AMD and we chose AMD, AMD provided us engineers to do optimizations for their drivers. So Halo Infinite would run better on AMD's GPUs. So yes, it absolutely, yes. And it's, and the, the amount of money that uh, developers get, especially AAA developers with big games like Diablo is not a small amount. So I worked for Xbox. So I was on Halo Infinite and I worked with Bungie 
on Halo, Fable, X, uh, Forza. Um, uh, yeah, I was at 343. Uh, Sid Reed, the Sid Reed, the, that build is on Friday. So the Terra builds on Friday. I did not work on Destiny. Destiny was after Bungie left. All right, here we go. He must have chose. He must choose a different. All right, so let's set our settings here. Let's make sure that we are okay. It's forty seventy Ti. So we're gonna set our settings here real quick. So GPU temperature. Oh no. We want uh, arrow. TX 4070 Ti, base Ti, is, you got in trouble for that. Apply GPU usage, show, show, override, boom. Memory usage, show, override, boom. Core clock, show, override, boom. Uh, power, show, override, boom. Don't care about fan speed, don't care about temp limit, don't care about power, temp, CPU temperature, of course we wanna know that. Show, override, i9, 13900K. Apply CPU usage, of course we wanna know that. Okay, let's do CPU clock. Of course, we want to know that. CPU power. There we go. And then we'll do frame average. Game. And then we'll do frame time. Show. Game. Okay, there we go. Um, so that takes care of MSI. Let's open up Steam real quick and then I'll run, I'm gonna run Battle.net. Download. Okay, there we go. Mickwin's still addicted to Coca-Cola and saying like, okay, so Mickwin, so yeah, that's the thing is like Mickwin, so Mickwin's competing against, competing again. And I just have to say Mickwin had like the most ridiculous, like his picture. I just think he should, <laughs> I just think that he should have gotten a better picture because I was watching, so I was at DreamHack and I saw his competitive picture uh, and I was like, what? But uh, yeah, he was still, I mean, we work with Mick Wynn and the pro team, Mick Wynn, Wes, all those guys uh, with the pro team um, uh, when he was working on Halo Infinite. I didn't work with them on Halo 3 or the other ones that they worked on or uh, Reach. You think games like retro play styling mechanics are hard to keep running 20 years later in sequels? I'm not sure. Uh, no, honestly, I'm, I'm, a I'm actually just really not, so. Uh, let's go to side here. I do like this keyboard. Uh, okay, let's approve this, and then I want to show you guys a little bit before we get before we get to there. That's right. They they move the authenticator. Okay, let's see what we got in here. Clothes. Who cares? Got it. Let's go here real quick. I don't care. Care. Okay, so it goes basically these, then WoW Classic, then Modern Warfare, and then it goes into these. Eh, I'll get rid of that. Okay, 
I love Heroes of the Storm. Okay, so here's my game. Oh my gosh, I don't have enough disk space. Dang it. Okay, well, we're gonna have to delete some games, guys. Okay, we'll uninstall this. Because I only have a 500 gig hard drive on here. Uh, no, thanks. All right, uh, we're gonna uninstall this. And then I think we have, do we have Epic on here? Yeah, I'm gonna uninstall. I'm gonna uninstall all the games. Guys, I don't have enough room for space. Uh, I mean, honestly, guys, we just, we thought, he thought it was a different drive. He thought it was a two terabyte because it's a 500 gig. We And it already has an OS on it. And because we weren't gonna do a lot of stuff, we're just making room, it's fine. Totally agree. We're gonna, uh, uh, let's see, what do we have in space wise now? We have 197 gigs. Okay, that's enough for, that's enough for Diablo three. Okay. Okay, let's run Cyberpunk just so you guys can have something to watch while we're doing this. And we can run, we can run Call of Duty. We'll run Cyberpunk and we'll run Call of Duty real quick and then um, that'll, that, that way you guys can see some other stuff because it's always good to show how some of these other games do. So let's take a look at Cyberpunk 2077 real quick. Let's see how it does, 1440p. Yeah, 500 gigs is tiny, for sure. Guys, 202, we only need 45 more likes. Let's get those last likes. Hey guys, while that's, while that's uh, starting real quick, I'm gonna go grab some water. Give me one second.
Sports from Trauma Team Scraping Cyber Psycho Victims off the pavement. And in Pacifica, well, Pacifica is still Pacifica. This has been your man, Stan. Join me for another day in our city of dreams. Okay, we're back. Got more water. I actually went through 64 ounces. All right, let's go to settings, graphics. Okay, we're gonna turn, not patch racing, let's just set it with ultra, ray tracing ultra. It's DLSS, we're gonna not turn on frame generation. Patch tracing is not on. All right, here we go. Let's see how this runs. Ugh. Here we go. Okay, so this is just DLSS, not frame generation with ultra ray tracing sitting at 80. This is a 4070 Ti at 1440p. I'm blurry. Have you tried refreshing? How, how are we doing likes on YouTube? guys we are almost we only need like 25 more a little over 30 more let's get it 29 actually <laughs> nice tough two stuff i like it he's not i haven't had drinks today Anyway, 96.15 frames with DLSS, which is, I mean, again, you should run. Just to show raw, because some people don't want to see it with raw, we'll turn it off. So if you were going to run it without without DLSS, because we want to, oh, I hope this, I hope that actually saved. Some people say they can see the difference. Their super sampling continues to get better and better. So I always like to show, I always like to show all, the, again, this is a 4070 Ti. You, you would still get frame rates very similar to this with something like a 13.7, even a 13.6. So, okay, so you're looking at about half without DLSS. But again, now this is not doing any super sampling whatsoever. Look at the temps though, 40, the 4070 sitting in the 60s, the 13900 in the 60s, no problem with temps on this at all. Uh, Dewum Slayer 4K for the 4070 Ti's are not made for 4K. They're 1440p cards. Well, that's why I show it, Nemesis. Uh, Nemesis is that I want to show both with or without, you know, whatever people want to see, right? Like I want to make sure that you guys see what you want to see. So I'm going to show rasterize. I'm going to show uh, with DLSS. I'm going to give you guys all the options so you can see how it basically performs. It is, it's getting better. And the other two is AMD's working on the same thing with FSR. No. 
So now we're gonna give it, look at that, 10. It's using 10 gigs of VRAM though. Again, I think this is 12. Yeah, these are, 4070 Ti is 12. Okay, let's do last one, and then we'll run, we'll run a little bit of, uh, so let's do frame generation, putting it on balance. Let's put on frame generation. Um, and then uh, we'll run some COD, show you some COD at 1440p at ultra, and then at basic, maximizing frames. And then, uh, then we'll play some Diablo. Yes, Nemesis, yes, both XESS and, um, there we go, 130, 140, very well north of 100. Uh, tough to stuff, I don't think they will. I mean, honestly, DLSS, the problem is DLSS requires the ray tracing cores, the RT cores that are on NVIDIA versus um, uh, FSR. So technically there already is two open standards, XESS and FSR work with Intel, NVIDIA and uh, uh, AMD. BMOC benchmarking, yep. Okay, okay, so that is Cyberpunk 2077. Let's run some COD real quick, and then we'll jump in. I'm gonna make sure Diablo is still downloading. I think it should be. Just killing time while Diablo downloads, and then I'm gonna show it again, and I'll show you a little bit about this rad keyboard and this headset and mouse. And this mouse and stuff like that. We're gonna show you some of those things as well. I'm getting used to it. I never had a physics card back when they had them. Well, at least I don't remember, um, but I could have. Okay, so we're 74% on Diablo. Okay, so let's check out Call of Duty. Call of Duty, Call of Duty, Call of Duty, Call of Duty. Oh, oh, she loved it. She loved what? What did she love? Uh, I already uninstalled Forza. I didn't have room for it uh, at Purva. Sorry. I only have a 500 gig hard drive in there. That's that's our bad. We won't do that again. <laughs> what did you, what did you get her? Oh, yeah. Did you watch the video I showed on? Uh, did you watch the video that I I put on uh, in? Uh, Discord subs, Discord subs, if you've not watched a video I put in Discord subs that you guys get early access to, you should watch it because it's Spider-Verse and it's awesome. Blondie's seen it, I think Riddick's seen it. It's, it's, it's awesome. Mostly Martinez has seen it. Yeah, definitely, you're definitely gonna wanna see it. It's pretty incredible. You guys, you're gonna wanna see this video that's coming out. It'll either be Friday or early next week. Just waiting for it to start again. Sergeant Nobody, it's under the Discord. So Discord subs get early access to like big videos. Yeah, we're gonna watch it this weekend. Uh, at Perva, I can, yes, I actually have that data. Hold on, let me, I'll get you the data. I will tell you what the frame rate is in Forza. I actually have it. So let me look. I actually have all the data right here. Here we go. Okay, so in Forza, I can give you some other games too if you guys want to know them. Okay, so this build in Forza Horizon on 40, at 1440p, 
Forza Horizon is Cyberpunk 2077. You saw Forza Horizon is 195 frames per second. Uh, Modern Warfare, I'm not going to tell you that because you're going to see it. Shadow of the Tomb Raider, 253 frames per second. Tiny Tina's Wonderland, 196 frames per second. Apex Legends at 1440p, maximizing for frame rate is 319 frames per second. Uh, Fortnite is at 1440p, again, maximizing for frame rate, 475.9 frames per second. So there's all your frame rates. Um, so if you wanted to know. So yeah, I'd say that that is, uh, I think that is, uh, I think that's pretty good for Forza. All right, let me set our settings here. So we're gonna give this optimizing for, we're gonna go to basic right now for DLSS with balanced. Okay, let's see what we're, we're gonna go to the lowest setting and just get it as fat, best as possible. Okay, here we go, Modern Warfare. Benchmark. I'm glad I could help, Approvo. We try to give you guys the best data. How are we doing likes on YouTube, guys? Let's finish it out. So this is 1440p basic. Uh, and it's new, not really. So 238 frames per second, this is on basic. This is with DLSS. Let's go to, we'll go to Matt, we'll go to extreme. If you just wanna, if you're crazy and you wanna play an FPS at the like craziest setting, right? Cause again, frames per second is obviously the most important thing. But again, some people still play max settings. So we wanna give you everything. Uh, at Perva, I would do 6,000. You don't need 6,600, though Intel does like faster RAM, but 6,000 is more than enough. And 64 gigs, depending on what you're gonna do with it, I don't know if you need 64 gigs or not. For gaming, you don't need 64 gigs. I don't know, Igor. I don't have that game. I don't have Landlord Super. I can't believe that game exists. You have a G MSI G, which with SSD going, which SSD will go in it? So, uh, Tom, can you look at, Cash has a question over on uh, YouTube. I, I pretty much, I, I don't know how old it is. It depends on how old it is. If it's fairly recent, then any M.2. And there you go, 189 frames per second at maximum. So, there you guys go. Okay, so let's just pop into Diablo real quick. And then we'll see how Diablo. Now I'm not gonna run hardcore yet. I'm just gonna run my normal one. And then uh, we'll run so, uh, the softcore. That sounds bad. Uh, the uh, the entry level, uh, the the one I won't die in because I want to show you guys frame rate. Uh, and then once I get through that, then we'll uh, we'll transition. 
Hey guys, yeah, don't forget we have a community travel outdoor photo challenge on Discord. Winners basically win new egg gift cards. All you gotta do is go take a picture of your outdoor travel, stuff like that, pretty straightforward. Uh, we have three uh, top three winners, the community votes. Great chance, jump over discord.gg slash robytech. We have an amazing community. We have lots of cool challenges for you to win and stuff like that. It's a great place to hang out. We got build competitions, all sorts of things that are coming up. So and if you if you don't, if it's just not all about me here in the streams, go ahead and join our Discord server. Great place to hang out. Okay, so let's jump into here real quick just to show you guys what frame rate, we'll play around with the frame rates. I think this has got frame generation and everything turned on, but we'll change it when we get inside. Okay, so here we are right now. Well, I don't have frame rate in here. Okay, we should probably put that in there. Okay, hold on. So, uh, settings. Forgot to add frame rate, that would be good. Screen display. More. Oh, it's not that one. Monitoring. Oh, I don't I want this one. So we're sitting right now 1440p ultra at 60 frames per second. But I'm gonna make sure V-Sync's not on. Vertical sync is on, so that doesn't help. Okay, there we go. There we go, we're at 150 frames per second. But if we do this, and this is 1440p with everything at ultra, but we can go to balanced frame generation, and then we'll just do a thing. I feel, I still feel like I'm, oh, you know what? I forgot. There you go. Two hundred and forty frames per second. We'll go out and show, shoot some stuff and just see what this looks like, and then we'll. Again, just showing you some gameplay. What is this? I got a lot of lag here. Let me try this. I'm gonna turn frame generation off and see if that. Super laggy. I don't. I don't know where the stuttering is. I don't think I've had a stuttering issue. I mean, it was not stuttering on the on the other one.
Yeah, it seems like the frame. I, I don't know if it's a frame generation thing or what. Seems like that's going now. Yeah, it doesn't seem like I'm getting that stuttering anymore. Collecting all this stuff right now. I must wait. See how much different it plays when I play when I don't play. I don't have to worry about freaking uh, dying. I'm a little bit more uh, a little bit more ballsy. It's not good for me to practice this way. So again, showing you some ideas of how the game plays. And there you go. So pretty straightforward. Again, 290 frames per second, that seems fine. No problem whatsoever. Yeah, that seems really, really good. Yeah, this is just like, it's, it's, it, it works perfectly fine, no issues whatsoever. Okay, so let me just show you one other thing and then we'll, uh, we'll do the giveaways and then we'll go back to the uh, Diablo 4 uh, for hardcore leveling. Um, so I wanted to show you guys the Rocat. So a little bit about these, the, the keyboard and mouse that I'm using today for the stream. So please download, okay, so we're gonna auto update and just download this updater real quick. auto updating real quick uh Dar Dram Dramaka, i like it a lot and we're gonna be, we're gonna be going back to we're gonna be playing we're i'm trying to be one of the first a thousand to hit hardcore uh level uh 100 and i'm at 26 so once we finish up once we finish up with this showing this bit off then we'll switch back to going to that for probably about an hour or so okay so here we go so this is what i was talking about okay so here's the magma application so again you have your key illumination, the, the, the controls for this thing, really, really crazy. So again, we can go like, here's your wave. You can change your speed for it. You know what I mean? And like in terms of just, so I can change the speed. So there you go, like you can make it really fast. 
Um, you, can, uh, you can go to fully lit and choose like a color. So if we wanted to do like a Diablo color, there you go right there. It's like more of a red. You can also go like more of an orange and red. So this is just a lot of lighting options that you have for uh, your, uh, for your uh, control. So there's like a heartbeat as well. So if you wanna just go from there. So lots of really cool. And then you have like this intelligent lighting stuff, which this is intelligent lighting is more like if a game will write to it, et cetera, that'll go like that. Now, um, the other thing that's actually pretty cool as well, you go into your general features, you can actually add things like a click sound. So if I go to like, yeah, see, I don't know if you hear that, but if I go to notepad, it sounds like, it sounds like I'm using a clicky keyboard. So if you don't want it, and then again, if you just want to chirp it, turn it off, Oh, if I, I need to hit apply, if I turn it off. So, which is actually pretty cool. And then you can also, there's a bunch of different ones like typewriter. I don't know what this sounds like, but this is probably gonna. So yeah, that's actually pretty neat. Hey, Igor, that's cool. Thank you very much for the two subs, dude. Really, really appreciate it. So again, they have a bunch of little sound effects and stuff like that, profile switches, wake up sounds, stuff like that, that you can change. You have a lot of lighting stuff. You have your key, you have your key assignments. You can do things like uh, change and do per key assignments, um, which is not surprising. Again, Rocat is the one that, um, Rocat is the one that um, uh, Dr. Disrespect uses. This is his primary sponsor. And then you have the Cone Pro Air. And again, this is the DPI switcher. So if you look at the button assignment here, you can actually see what your DPI see on uh, number eight uh, is actually your profile cycle. So you can actually set a number of different profiles for your DPI switch to go all the way up to something fast. And then you can calibrate them based on what it is. So you can do calibrate and then you can actually do run through a calibrator. You got your double click speed. So a ton of options that you can actually change based on uh, your usage for the mouse. And then again, you have the same thing, a bunch of different illumination stuff. So if you do wave and hit apply, it's the front two zones. It's kind of like your finger click areas that end up being it. It's got like a cool, like hexagonal pattern on it and stuff like that, which is actually pretty neat. But all in all, very impressed with um, what this white, what this, um, the, the amount of settings you can change with the Rocat. And again, they don't just make the membrane, they have clicky keyboards and stuff as well. But again, head over to robytech.com, click on Rocat. You can check out all their different options. Uh, we're just gonna be playing around with it. We got some short content and stuff like that, but definitely wanted to show this off as part of the, um, as part of the stream. And then this does have a game mode and stuff, but guys, you gotta admit, man, that illumination and stuff is actually pretty cool. Okay, so how are we doing on likes? Did we finish it? 225. Okay, so we did not. Okay, so we only have one giveaway today. That's a $50 new gift card. And then we'll get back to Diablo. So I'm gonna start resetting it for Diablo. Thank you everybody for uh, hanging out today. So we're gonna do this giveaway, CloudBot. Uh, exclamation point community. Okay, $50 new gift card, exclamation point community guys. And we're gonna start that giveaway right now. Okay, starting that giveaway right now, $50 new gift card. And thank you very much everybody for the thumb, the subs and everything else and all that sort of stuff. You guys, I really do appreciate it.
Okay, guys, 30 seconds. Then we're going to be drawing our winner. Drawing our winner in 10 seconds. Yeah, you can no longer enter the winner. Congratulations to Kat Guy Dewar. Guy Dewar, you are the winner of you are the winner of the um, you're the winner of the uh, $50 New A gift card. That's amazing. Congratulations, dude. No more entries. Okay, so what's next? So next stream is on Friday uh, for YouTube. Uh, for Twitch, you can stick around. We're gonna get back to Diablo. Next stream is on Friday. We're gonna be building in the uh, Fractal Hydra. Uh, sorry, Fractal Terra. And then we have a great commission build in Alankol 216 on Sunday. Friday, we're going to be giving away that $1,000 uh, NVIDIA PC that did not get a claimant. So that's going to be happening on Friday. Plus, we'll be announcing the winner of this uh, 4070 system that is back here going to a sub. Don't forget, subscribers, uh, if you are subscribed either at Kick uh, YouTube or, uh, sorry, Kick Twitch and Discord, one of the paid subs, uh, you are automatically entered to win uh, another PC giveaway that'll be happening uh, later on next month, uh, then later on this month. So we have a new PC that we give away every month. So that PC giveaway will be happening for you guys uh, as well. So stay tuned, make sure that you stay subbed and all that sort of stuff. Now, join us, discord.gg slash robitech. Join the sub club, you get early access to my videos. Uh, you get exclusive access to giveaways. For instance, we just gave away a bunch of EK stuff. I have some stuff that came in from DreamHack that we're gonna be giving away. We have a brand new chippy, all sorts of stuff like that. So you're definitely gonna to tune in uh, and join there, discord.gg slash robitech. It's really inexpensive and you get way more access to me. So definitely worth checking out as well. Outside of that, guys, for those of you at YouTube, really appreciate you. Thanks for tuning in. We're gonna go ahead and now switch over to playing some more hardcore Diablo uh, for another probably hour or so, see if we can get to 30 uh, and then go from there. But for YouTubers, have a good night. For everybody else, stick around. We're gonna play some more this, we're gonna play some more Diablo. Okay.